Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the UC Riverside Highlanders and the UCLA Bruins. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like an M&M, but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Bruins are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. Number one, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Secondly, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Third, play solid fundamental defense, and don't get caught gambling. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. There's the pick. Here's a double team. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Perfectly executed. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Got some room. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Goes in. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Marshall fakes the shot. Looking for the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Crockett is animated and ready to go. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Now they work it around the perimeter. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Transition opportunity coming up. I don't know what I enjoy more, Brad. The Dunker watching the mascot. What a reaction. He's really into it. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Moving it around the perimeter. They look to get it to the inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dumps it in. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. For the bucket, he buries the shot. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to go inside. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Trying to feed inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Copeland handles the pass. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. On the dribble. 
dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he'll kick it back outside. Stop and pop. Off the rim and no good. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Good job defensively. They run it up into transition. They, he takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He wants the crowd to get pumped up, Dick. He is feeling it. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. He goes to the line for the first time. Good. That's nine unanswered. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. The skip pass is picked off with a deep pass. Tries for two. Oh, yes. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He uses the shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Perfectly executed. That's a 13 zip run. Both teams looking to get things going here. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Look at that spacing. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here's a flash from the high post. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. Long picks up the defensive foul. First personal foul. Copeland goes to the line for the first time. Gets that one. UCLA are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He missed on the steal, that's gonna be the offense's game. Yes, sir, they got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Well, let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal.
tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Taking over Pauley Pavilion. Look out. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? All right, thanks, Aaron. He misses the second shot. The center handles the feed. Stolen away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. For two, gets it to go. <laughs> Only the replay can do this justice. from long range. Great shot. Roll that replay ready, boys. They work the perimeter. The center receives the ball. Up and inside. Shoots. Way off target. On the outside, top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Bruins have been doing well this season. I'm sure their opponents licking their chops, wanting to knock them off. When your team is not one of the top-ranked teams, you want to play against the best. You want to prove to everyone that you are just as good. Rice pulls down the offensive board. It's good. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. That has some folks out of their seats. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Takes the pass in the paint. Thinks about the shot. For the bucket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got a high post flasher. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talent in blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. UCLA have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Play. Those are the top 
Lewis and plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Royal receives the pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Adam, momentary look from three point land. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Picked off. High post screen. Great play to take that to the basket. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Working it around the perimeter. He lets it go. You betcha. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. the inside kicks it out got an open look if he wants it there's the fake leaning in trying to draw contact he was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal a questionable decision though on his part because it resulted in a foul if you're going for the steal you better get it if not this is exactly what happens up fake from the top of the circle. He makes the shot. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Steel go up the other way, get a layup. moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. Steals a pass. screen gave it up here's a nice face up down in the low block oh he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket and back they come the other way way out on top controlling the ball 
UC Riverside are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Boy, terrible execution on offense. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Sets the screen for his teammate. Off the rim and no good. Look at that spacing. On the top of the key. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And the ball goes out of play. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Here's a flash from the post up high. The ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Picked out of the air. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Court. Puts up the shot. You see Riverside. Have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Tries for two. Doesn't go. And he scores despite the hack. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown, knocks it down. Dribble gives it up. Pump fakes. Pandemonium has taken over Pauley Pavilion. Look out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. And he got them both. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting team seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You got to take care of the rock, baby. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. Moving it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Goes in. Oh, 
jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. He takes the rebound. Dump it inside. Fakes a jumper. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Pandemonium has taken over Pauly Pavilion. Look out. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Puts up a prayer. Way off target. At the half, the Bruins are up by 18. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. UCLA really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? He takes a three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Watch out, five second call approaching. And he'll kick it back outside. From three point land, gets it to fall. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Tries to get the D to bite. He shoots from the top of the key. It sticks. With a bucket, perfectly executed. My goodness, Mr. Nelson, that was phenomenal, baby. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that spacing. Entry pass in the paint. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. Goes up for two. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. For that reason right there, that's why I love college basketball. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. it up and the ball goes out of bounds boy it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers and look at that stat i'll tell you one thing coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose your air and you get balled like i am on the top of the circle royal makes a tray Controlling the ball. 
He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. That's a 7 nothing run. From the top of the circle, Hunt drains the tray. There's the pick and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And again, they look to run. He shoots from left of the circle, drains the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Royal pound it. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He'll get one. He buries it. Looking for a good shot. He intercepts it. No foul on that interception. No foul is right, Brad. That's Mr. Clean. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He strips him clean. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Easy one. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. They scored 11 in a row. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Rims out. Front work. To me, that's all rebound it is. Get your body between the hoop and your man and block out. There's the trap. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Pandemonium has taken over Pauly Pavilion. Look out. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Takes away the pass. On the inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. You see Riverside have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the dribble, gives it up, lets it fly. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Here's a double team. Stolen. That's 
spin move not successful, Dick, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He intercepts it. They work it around the perimeter. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. The dunk and one. Great job of going up strong through the contact, baby. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Stolen. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Sinks the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. They let him get into a rhythm. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Look at these fans. They're loving it. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with the six man for no reason. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He unloads a three. He drains the bucket. The Highlanders are behind by seven. He strips him clean. For two. Oh, yes. That's a seven-zip run. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, down here on the sidelines, I'm close to the favorites bench. What they're saying is, we've been in these situations before. Let's tighten up the defense and pull out a win here. Thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. Intercepted. He blocks the shot. Dump it inside. Leans in. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Up and inside. He shoots from the elbow. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that jet. circle. Royal drills the three. Tries for two and off the mark. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Turnover. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. UCLA are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits the shot. Ball, 
On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. A little too much hustle for that last foul. He played a good game, though. High post flashes. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. For two, and he missed. Jumps in. He's money with the shot. Pandemonium has taken over Pauley Pavilion. Look out. The shot won't fall. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Steals the ball. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Well, partner, this one could go right down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. Can't get the shot to drop. Morgan handles the feed. Strips the ball. Gave it up. Stolen ball. Pushes it. Intercepted. The center takes the feed. Takes it off him. The defender's applying pressure, and he goes for the steal. In addition to the pressure defense, they're going for some aggressive steals as well. Oh, oh, young man. Be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Great defense. Look at that spacing. The point guard with the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. Tickles the twine. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. Jumped in front to take it away. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The land. Cross court. Royal receives the ball. He rejects it. That's a great shot, man. He's like the human eraser. He says, get that baby out of the lane. Fakes the shot. And 
but they come with a double team to stop it. Here they go into the break. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Picks off the pass. Dump it inside. Got a guy right up on him. Tries for two. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Morgan receives the pass. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Ten on the shot clock. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Time to pick up the defense here now. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the shot. You guys got the replay ready up there? Here we go. What's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, man, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. You see Riverside are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Action's ready to start again. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. Picks off the pass. He buries it. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Stolen away. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. They get it out into transition. For the deuce. Better fall quick. Green sat hard on the defender. That's the big play they needed, Dick, and now there's still a chance to win this one. That could wind up being a play that changes the outcome of this one, baby. Coming 
out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. With the fake. The small forward gets the ball. Three-pointer. He shows the sweet touch. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Defense! 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 He takes the three. He gets the shot to fall. to get back to the action. We see this occasionally, Dick. You know, they were expected to win this ball game, and at times it looked like they were going to be able to pull it out. But hey, this is a big shocker for them. Uh, that has been shocked too, but they really executed so well. The underdog really did all the things coaches talk about at coaching clinics. They talk about really putting a stop to the basketball, getting back defensively, stopping transition layups, blocking out. They did all the essentials that lead to winning. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestler, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. UCLA fought the good fight, but they still come up short. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. Brad Nestler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.